come from? There you go. You'll be okay. In 1964, Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Kate Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them. I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. The trail's grown cold. For three weeks, I've been studying Nostradamus quatrains to lead us to the aliens. But the only lead I've found is a newspaper clip about a farm in Indiana. Claims to have a large-mouthed bass that breathes on land. Seems to fit with quatrain 32, century 9. The fish that travels land and sea will be cast up on shore by a great wave. Eddie thinks I'm wasting my time going after a fish. But I can't just sit around knowing they're here. Time for a fishing expedition. You with the bank? Kate Schultz. I'm with the uh, World Standard. Look, you tabloid people have got to back off. The fish you're looking for is gone. Who is it? Hey, you must be Cody. Who's asking? Kate Schultz. I came to look at that fish of yours. Maybe snap a few pictures. Somebody stole it the day after the newspaper report. Oh. That's too bad. I saw the bank auction sign out front. Thought you could use the extra cash. The fish is really? gone. Really? You're gonna pay for it? Oh, a fish with lungs. There's no telling what my editor was. Mr. Would. Schultz, the story you read was an exaggeration, something I'm sure you tabloid people understand. But, Esther, what about the money? I can get him another fish. Cody. You can leave now. This is the place? Yes, Colonel Grace. Some farmer recognized Kate Foster in America's most wanted. This is the main road through Evans County. How dreary. We'll establish command central here. Contact the sheriff's department. I want an APB on Kate Foster. Yes, Colonel Grace. I want county units to lock down every major roadway with roadblocks. Yes, I want state units to set up checkpoints on the highways. Yes, Colonel Grace. I want Kate Foster. Come on, before she sees. Where are we going? Fishing. No, I'm not interested in just any fish. I know what you want. The breathing kind. And don't we need tackle or a fishing rod? No. Come on. Your sister's gonna be mad if you're sneaking out like this. 
she's not always like that. She's got stress. Her dad died last year. It's just me and Esther now. That's rough. I know, I lost my wife a little while back. You ever think about her? Every day. Yeah, I think about my dad every day, too. You have any other family? Aunt Judy in New York. She wanted me to move in just after Dad died. Why didn't you? Esther said no. Dad always wanted us to live on a farm. He said you can't see the moon in New York because the buildings are too tall. Well, no wonder Esther's upset. The farm being up for auction and all. Esther says she's going to get the money, but I don't think so. How much are you willing to pay for this bass? Cody, I can't lie to you. I'm not a tabloid reporter. I can't pay you any money. But then why did you say so? Because I didn't think you'd believe me if I told you the truth. You didn't even try. I know. And I'm sorry for that. It was wrong. Do you want to know what I think is the truth? I don't care. I think that fish you found was a normal bass. But it was changed. By who? Now, this is going to sound crazy. But they're not from our planet. There you go, lying again. Well, you saw the fish. Now, how do you explain something like that? Aliens know a lot about genetics and things. You're telling me. They're probably the ones who stole the first fish I caught. That means aliens were in my bedroom. Cody, I need to find some proof that they're here. Because they're the ones who took my wife. Do you understand now? Yeah, I do. Come on. You have to be quiet now. We'd like peace. Watch. I found out by accident. I spilled some when I was eating dinner. See? There's one right there. I can't believe it. I found the first one in the garden. Wasn't hard to figure out where it came from. You're the man, Cody. I am? Yes, you are. Eddie, the fish breathes. It walks on its fins. Does it balance a ball on its nose? Ain't no jokes here, man. It's like the Nostradamus Quatrain predicted. A fish that travels land and sea. I've got the fish in a, in a shoebox in the back of my car. I don't mean to burst your bubble, but there's dozens of air-breathing fish species in the world. The striped snake skin from the Philippines can exist for months outside of water, and there's no ill effect. We're in Indiana, not Indonesia. This is a bass. OK, chill, all right? I'm, I'm searching my databases for uh, someone who can give us a scientific opinion. The thing I can't figure out is most of the guinea pigs we've seen so far have all been human. Guinea pigs? British sailors used to sell pigs for a guinea because they were so easy to come by. Real bottom feeders on the evolutionary chain. Like bass. Scientists test theories on guinea pigs before they move on to more complex creatures, like humans. Are you saying our bass is the first step in a larger experiment? It's one possibility. But not your favorite one. Look, okay, these Nostradamus quatrains can be interpreted in many different ways. Maybe you just got a mutant fish. A genetic aberration. If so, I know about this whacked out carnival I just read in Bates. We could probably use it. Because if two-headed chicken just died, well, really, one of the heads just died, and now it just hangs there, and the other head just keeps Eddie. pecking its eye out. Eddie! Eddie! <laughs> Eddie, listen, Eddie! I've been made Indiana State Trooper south on Highway 118. Put the phone down! Get your hands where I can see them! Now! Hey, easy 
officer. If it's a registration, it's a rental. No sudden movement. Just put your hands on the car. Okay. Wide apart. Oh, so there must be misunderstanding. I'm with the world standard. Check my ID. Turn around and put your hands on the car. Okay, show me. See, it's okay. I just have one of those faces. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Don't even think about it. I can hit a rabbit at 100 yards. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Bingo. Now under transport to Boone County Jail. You match a description of a one killer right down to your first name. Be my ass if I didn't bring you in. All units. All units. Murder suspect. Kate Foster now apprehended by Boone County Sheriff's Department. Suspect now under transport to Boone County Jail. What do you know? Sorry, pal. Just trying to do my job. It's OK, officer. Like I say, I just have one of those faces. <laughs> hey, you still there? Bow down and recognize. Nice work, I owe you. All right, look, I'm still in the system. Never guess who put out that all points on you, your old friend from the NSC, Colonel Grace. I can't shake her. Who is she, Eddie? I did some checking. She's got high-level Pentagon clearance, but that's all I can find out. Her files are sealed and classified. Well, she's not going to stop me from figuring out what's going on here. What did you get on that fish expert? Alice Gundry, PhD in systematic ichthyology at University of Western Indiana. Bring a water sample from the pond. She'll need it. Thanks, Eddie. All right. What are you doing here? Thought I told you to leave. It's a little late for a swim, isn't it? You're trespassing, Mr. Schultz. Call me Cade. How do you hold your breath underwater for so long? Were the caves down there? Why did you come? To get a water sample. There's some unusual life in that pond. Not the least of which happens to be you. <coughs> get out of here, Mr. Schultz. Please, call me Cade. <coughs> Hey, Cade, get out of here. Esther, please, give me, give me a break here. I'm just, I'm just trying to get a story. Cody was wrong to bring you here today. This is a real bad time for us. What part of get out of here did you not understand? I'm not a threat to you and Cody. I know what you guys are going through with the bank. Cody's a good kid. I know he doesn't want to lose his home. And I do. I'm handling our situation on my own. Listen to me, Esther. I think you and your brother are in danger. I think I can help. You can't. Now, please leave. You lied to me about the fish. I have one. It's real. It breathes. 
Well, then we're even. You lied to me about yourself. I called the world standard. They never heard of you. I won't stop until I find what I'm looking for, Esther. And what are you looking for, Cade? I think that someone changed that fish that Cody found. I think it's part of an experiment. I'm going to find out what. Well, then why don't you jump into the water and find out for yourself what's down there? I've got something here I'd like you to look at. A final exams go on my desk. Kate Schultz, I'm at the World Standard. I read your work. The evolution and taxonomy of the subtropical flatfish. Fascinating the way the left eye migrates to the right side of the head. What can I do for you, Mr. Schultz? I'd like you to examine this largemouth bass. A bass. Naturally a bass. I specialize in tropical fish. I live in Indiana, surrounded by bass. This is an amazing bass. There's nothing amazing about bass. They're entirely predictable fish. What's this one got? Hemorrhaging of the gills? That would be pollution in the water. Scale standing up? Bacterial infection. Bloating? Egg bound? Or maybe just constipated, none of which would be considered. It's alive. It breathes. Air. Where'd you find it? It crawled out of a pond. It crawls? Great story, huh? Now I've got to explain it to my readers. How do you think a fish could get like this, Dr. Gundry? Well, of course, all fish have rudimentary lungs, and uh, fins evolve into appendages, but I have no idea. But you could figure it out. I'll, I'll need uh, x-rays, cultures, blood samples, water from where you found it. I've got that. Perfect. I'll get my team right on that. And in the next few weeks... Can't. I need you to examine this fish now while I wait. The newspaper was, was nervous to let me out with it at all. And this kind of study takes time. There is no time. Whatever I find, you give me source credit. Dr. Gundry, you show me evidence of how that fish got that way, and I'll personally guarantee that your name is broadcast on every TV and radio station in the country. Do you mind if I videotape this? I insist on it. What we see here is a largemouth bass that appears to have developed the respiratory organs of an air-breathing invertebrate. If true, this fish will turn evolution on its head. Colonel Grace. Kate Foster's rental sedan was ID'd this morning at the University of Western Indiana. I'll get my transport now. Your water sample's stagnant. No aquatic vertebrate could survive in this scum. You saying that someone put this fish there? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if it walked there on its own. Look here. Notice the dorsal fin, attached by a skeletal structure, not the usual cartilaginous rays. Why doesn't the fish dry up like most fish out of water? Turbinates. To recycle moisture and prevent dehydration. They're only found in the nasal cavities of warm-blooded mammals. Are you saying our fish is a mammal? No. Not yet. What does that mean, not yet? In the short time it's been here, the specimen has developed microscopic pores beneath its scales. I don't get it. It's growing skin. I've never seen anything like it. The bass, it's changing, mutating, almost by the hour. It's like evolution at lightning speed. How is that possible? I don't know. I'm expecting preliminary blood tests back this afternoon. I'll know more then. If this fish walked into that pond, where did it walk from? I checked on that. Here's where you found the bass. An eighth of a mile south, down the river. Aquaculture fish farms. Thank you, Dr. Gundry. You're not leaving now. You can't. Dr. Gundry, 
My job depends on keeping this fish safe. I've got more tests. I'm sorry. I don't know how much longer I can keep the families away, Everett. An attorney threatened to call the sheriff if he's not allowed to talk to his client's brother. We're running out of time, then. Are they ready for transport? Oh, they'll make the trip. They've grown strong. Good. I'm scheduling pickup for tomorrow morning. Are you sure they were humanoid? Yeah, I'm sure. And you think they breathe underwater? I saw them. So it was part of a larger experiment. An experiment? Is that what it is? Well, I've had it with their experiments, Eddie. They're creating freaks. What purpose can that serve? All right, listen to the second half of this Nostradamus prophecy. The fish that travels land and sea will be cast up on shore by a great wave. Pestilence from the sky will drive multitudes into the ocean. Multitudes of people. They want people who can survive underneath the ocean. A workforce. That's it. Seventy-eight percent of our planet's covered with water. That's where most of our natural resources lie. What'd you get on aquaculture? It's an oceanic research foundation run by a guy named Everett Paul. A couple of months back, he advertised for subjects who could make a lot of money by uh, evaluating special kelp diet. That must be how I recruited those poor bastards I saw. 
Everett said they were going to ship them out tomorrow, Eddie. All right, I'll work on the phone log to find out where those trucks are headed. Okay. Who are you? What do you want? Get the hell out of my office. There's a time to speak and a time to listen. I suggest you consider the situation carefully and check your watch. Explain this. It's a largemouth bass with elementary legs and lungs. How did it come into your possession? A reporter brought it to me today, uh, Cade Schultz with the World Standard. With a tabloid. Did he give you his car, tell you where he was staying? Don't you find that odd? I find it odd now. And this? That's where he found the fish. Take it. Hand me. Hey, no, 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 you cannot take those! Do you know what that fish represents? What fish? Kate! Kate, I knew you'd come back. <laughs> Found it at a yard sale. Nice ride. Mongoose, nickel-plated frame. Nickel-plated? It's got a chromoly frame. <laughs> I used to have one of those. Hey, Cody, is your sister home? Yeah, she's here. Hey, Cody, you know I like spending time with you, right? I'm gonna be leaving town in a few days. I know. But I'd like to stay for dinner, though. As long as we're not having fish, I don't think my stomach could handle it. That's great! Come on! <laughs> Where's your sister? Esther! Company! Only two dinners? Esther's on some special diet. Esther! Company's here! She probably fell asleep. She's always tired. You want to go get her? All right. Esther? Esther, you in there? Esther? I'm coming in. Esther? I fell asleep. Underwater? I think you should get some clothes on. We need to talk. Why are you so quiet? I'm just thinking, that's all. Thank you. You're welcome. Why don't you tell me about your Aunt Judy? What's she like? Well, she has three cats. <laughs> Big city people, huh? Do you like your Aunt Judy? Yeah, she's great. She moved in with us when Dad died. What does she think of the farm? She loves it. She says it would make a good bread and breakfast. A bread and breakfast, huh? Well, she's right. Does she have any kids of her own? No. So what have you found out about the aliens? I'm close to the truth. Cody, honey, can you give me a few minutes alone with Cade? Hey, why don't you uh, take this guy into your room and feed him? I think he's hungry. I think this is the first time I've seen you with clothes on. What can I say? I'm a natural girl. Sure you are, Esther. Tell me what's happening. I don't know what you mean. Oh, I think you do. No, I don't. Esther, you can pretend this is not happening all you want. 
But what about your responsibility to Cody? Don't you understand? I did this for Cody. You have no right. This for him. What's happening to me? movement in the kitchen. Secure all exits. Go, 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 go! Where is he? Found this in the bedroom now. It's mine! Get it to me! It goes with us. Now, tell me, son. Where is Cade Foster? You're one of them, aren't you? I'm everything you've ever feared under your bed at night. I'll ask you again. Where is he? No, I'm not telling! Spread out! Find him! This way! All right, let's go! When I heard about the study, I... I begged Everett to let me join. Me and Cody, we needed the money so bad. When this is over in a week, I'll have enough for our house. Esther, you have no idea what you're dealing with. You have no idea. I used to love this spot. Come here on summer days and read. Now I can't stand the sight of it. Tell me whatever it did to you at agriculture. Gave me food supplements. Gave me injections said the side effects were temporary. The side effects are not temporary. I saw what they're turning you into. Never see the other subjects. They keep us apart. How did you get out of the compound? Found an underwater tunnel that led to this lake. Had to check up on Cody. Couldn't leave them all alone. How long can you stay out of the water before you have to get back in again? An hour. Less than that sometimes. It feels like I'm dying. Let's go. We'll go to the police, and we'll get you to a hospital, and once the doctors see what's happening to you, then they'll understand. Let's go, now. I can't breathe out here. I'm scared. Please, Esther, I can help you. It's too late for me. I can't. What did you find in the shipments? Truck like trucking has got two rigs scheduled to arrive at agriculture at 6 a.m. Each truck is equipped with a 15,000 gallon water tank. Ah, oh, damn it, that's three hours. Where are they headed? To Seaport, Norfolk. They chartered a ship. They're taking them out to sea, Eddie. We gotta call the police. Won't do any good. If Colonel Grace is calling the shots right now. She's got every law enforcement agency in the county looking for you. What's the plan, Foster? I gotta make sure that Esther doesn't get on one of those trucks. I can't stop thinking about her, Eddie. What's happening to her? All she wanted to do was help Cody. I know you're gonna go back there no matter what I say. So I'm just asking you to be careful.
they came out well, don't you think? Superior strength, remarkable adaptability. The perfect workforce for the aftertime. Intriguing. You know about us. Before I'm done, the whole planet will. How do I stop Esther from becoming one of those things? Once begun, the genetic mutation processes. Well, let's just say you can't turn hamburger back into the car. Besides, she's one subject we decided to terminate. No. <laughs> you fool. Everyone. It's all over, Foster. Colonel Grace, I've missed you. And I'm not just saying that. It was only a matter of time, son. You knew that. I trusted you once. Your mistake. You know I didn't kill my wife. You also know they're here. You're coming in with me. Go to hell. I need him alive. They'll have to come up for air. Where are we? Just, just outside aquaculture. Colonel, have a look at this. Kill it. Do it. You know. This isn't going away, is it? I'm gonna get you into the water. I'm dying. I want to die. Mr. No. There's people who care about you. Cody. Me? I can't live like this. I can't let Cody see me this way. How oh, I took care of him. We'll find doctors. You have to fight. You're good with Cody. You'll explain to him, won't you? I tried to do. Make sure he's taken care of. Well, of course I will. But you can't just give up, Esther. You can't let them get the best of you. You have to fight. Esther, no. No. It's Kate. It's okay. She took the fish, the lady with the soldiers. Was she an alien? I don't, I don't think so, Cody. I didn't tell her where you were. 
You're a good man. You're a brave man. I want you to do me a favor, okay? I want you to, I want you to pack some clothes. Because we have to get out of here for a while, okay? What about Esther? Well, Esther wanted me to give you a message. When we get there, I'll tell you all about it, okay? Get your picture. Hey, Keith, he's here. Hi, Aunt Judy. Oh, let me take a look at you. <laughs> Thanks so much for agreeing to do this. Oh, please. I just needed a reason to leave New York. Just to Cody to give me the courage to do it. Right? Any problems stopping foreclosure on the farm? Gave my business manager Harvey something to do besides manage my retirement portfolio. He was thrilled. But are you sure you don't mind my turning your farm into a country inn? No, not at all. Good. Do you mind if we have a word? No. Do you really have to leave? I do. I have to stop them from hurting anybody else. I know. But will you ever come back to see me? Ever? I can't promise, Cody. But you'll be okay. You'll be okay without me, you will. If you look after your aunt, okay? to remember in the war ahead. Though the aliens can claim the lives of those we love, they cannot claim their spirits. Esther fought for her brother's survival, and she was victorious. Her spirit lives in Cody, and it will live in me.